I'm on the edge of the Arctic, in Iceland, the far-flung outpost of the Viking seafaring kingdom. I'm hunting for a cold water predator that could have inspired the legend of the Loch Ness Monster. I've already encountered giant trout gorging themselves on Arctic char and growing to three times their normal size. Now, I've had a tip-off about a centuries-old water monster that was filmed in a glacial lake last spring. The thing that really strikes me about this lake is just how similar it looks to Loch Ness. It's very long, but comparatively quite narrow, and clearly in places it's very deep. The big difference, though, is the water. This lake is fed by water that flows down directly from a glacier which is still grinding rocks to dust. These waters are permanently clouded by sediment. Loch Ness, the visibility is pretty poor, but here it's almost non-existent. You wouldn't see anything at all in this water unless it was breaking the surface. But that's exactly what happened last spring. A stunned farmer saw ancient legend turn into living reality when he looked out of his kitchen window. I meet Icelander Hjörta Kjerov to find out exactly what emerged from these murky waters. So he's in the kitchen, right here, making his morning cup of coffee, looking out the window, saw something, at first didn't really register it, but then noticed that there was something strange in the water and uh, went to get his camera. Hjörta captured the first video footage of a creature long described as the Leierflut worm in the melting lake ice of spring. And this was just outside here. The position of it was literally just a matter of yards, 10 or 15 yards away from the bank down here. He said it was moving like a snake. It appeared to be going slightly against the current. So how long was it there for? How long did you watch it for? It was there for a long time. He watched it for, for several minutes. He started here and then he went outside. And eventually he just went off because he had work to do. When eventually he, he got back, it was dark. The next day it had gone. I'm Jeremy Wayne. For more than 30 years, I've been investigating underwater mysteries. It's a fish! And uncovering nightmarish beasts. Ah. Ah. Now, I'm going back in time to find the ultimate river monster. Half a billion years of evolution has seen a chilling array of deadly fish that were bigger, Stranger and more terrifying than anything in life today. For millions of years, the remains of these long lost killers were locked in stone. But thanks to new technology, their lethal secrets are emerging like never before. It's amazingly clear that you've got upper jaw, lower jaw. And now that the door to the distant pass is inching further open, I have to go through. Incredible! But it won't be easy. I'll have to piece together clues from the fossils of long extinct killers and from today's top predators. There it is, there it is, there it is. To bring to life the greatest monster that's ever On a rod and line, you get a real sense of the power. And this I thing... would have loved to have pulled in and watched it, but there was traffic close behind me. 